Good morning and welcome back to Arco. It is the final day of this Youth World Championships here in the Trentino region of Italy. And it's Youth A Women uh, bouldering final up first. We've got no less than six finals for you today. Three in speed, uh, which will run concurrently. Wish us luck keeping track of that after uh, three weeks successive live streaming. Potential for confusion there, but very little potential for confusion, we hope, uh, and the Boulder Finals. And as I say, first up is the uh, Youth A Women. So they are this morning, and then we've got uh, two more Boulder Finals for you this afternoon after the speed. So it's going to be a busy day for all involved, and uh, yeah, plenty of action to come. Charlie Bosco here with Mike Langley alongside me. And uh, this the scene here in Arco, and... Believe it or not, it is cooled down a little bit. I actually have a sweater on. Uh, Mike, conditions certainly a lot better than they have been. Uh, nice conditions for climbing right now. Yeah, I don't quite know what's wrong with you. I'm certainly not wearing a sweater. I'm a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. Well, I've already <laughs> been in the late this morning, <laughs> so I'm a little bit chilly. Uh, there we can see he's six finalists. Hopefully it's going to be last day, best day here in Arco. Um, it's been a really good championships up to now and I think um, speaking to a lot of the athletes around the town uh, just late last night they really enjoyed this championship so they've really been pushed uh, the semi-finals especially in these rounds have been really hard the finals have been good um, and you know when the, the athletes get to this youth B youth A they're really learning a lot not only about the boulders about climbing, about the routes, speed climbing, they're really learning a lot about life as well. And they've uh, seem to have gone really well here in Arco, and I'm sure they'll be carrying that back to their national and local comps in uh, every country that they do come from. And, yeah, it's been absolutely superb all around the town, down at the lake, in the river, in the ice cream shop. It's the uh, Arco, as you would expect. We will get to a li the end of a live stream this week without you mentioning your ice cream shop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've uh, so one shop, I've tried them all. I've got a little ranking system. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, pizzas as well have been quite a hit, as you all expect. Uh, the uh, After 12 days in Tokyo and then, what, eight days here in Arco, we, um, we've we had to slightly uh, get a wider camera to fit Mike and I on. <laughs> it's not been great for the waistline. Uh, either trip, I mean, going to Japan followed by Italy... Uh, is not a recipe for developing a six-pack stomach, sadly, and it hasn't worked uh, for us. But we've had a lot of good climbing to watch. We hope you've enjoyed it at home as well. Uh, Jana Rout will be uh, first out onto this first boulder. Mike, just... Um you were just down the mats earlier on. This t Talk us through this first boulder. Yeah, first boulder, it's sort of six not identical but close to identical holds um, all of these big wide boxes big pinches um, all in blue on the far right hand one um, that we can almost see in the shot there it's just top left is a, uh, a extra screw on at which point you mount up uh, potentially go left up the volumes or right up the volumes Root sets tell me it's a bit easier to go r fully round to the right hand side you can see it's another pair of volumes the second one does have a hold on it uh, mount up round to the right and then the finish hold so it's a relatively short climbs quickly uh, but as you can see from the first climb of Jana Ralph it's certainly not easy to actually get established on that next set of uh, pair of pinches so Jana had a couple of attempts uh, just to get the admin out of the way I've said this at the start of every stream but I I, um, I want to keep repeating myself sadly we do not have a feed for the clock so uh it would be nice, but we don't, and occasionally we catch a glimpse of the clock in the background, and then we uh, also have um, watches and phones to try and keep a track of the time, but we don't have a feed to the official clock. So apologies uh, for that. Is the standard four minutes per climber. Jana Rauch she has been out and attempted that jump three times uh, as yet without really looking like sticking it. Here she goes again. She's, I think, got the sequence right. Uh, two minutes. To, yeah, there we go. Caught a glimpse of the clock. Two minutes to go. Um, Asa brushes to do their things. She's she's getting to the hole, but 
um, only just and therefore hasn't got uh, any bend in the arm to kind of absorb the the shock of arriving at the hold and she's just dropping straight off as it stands right now So she pulls on for uh, another go. Let's have a look uh, at the method this time. Slightly different, trying to kind of match that lower volume and then uh, go from there. Jana out the first climber out. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Uh, Luz Duardi will be out next. And then it's Hannah Kudo, Naimenyon, Natsumi Hirano and Saki Kikuchi. So uh, no joy at all uh, for Jana Rout. It's Luz Duardi who's out next. Yeah, it's a shame on that first boulder really to come out and to not really get any moves in the bag is a little bit disappointing but this boulder is really only a two or three move boulder depending how you do that top section and uh, yeah it's just would appear to be just a straightforward jump to that next pair of boxes straightforward in terms of the actual sequence certainly not straightforward in the having to actually complete it loose to rd with a famous shake of the hands famous already the french generation of climbers through the youth is really coming now Ah, oh, there you go, straight into it, left hand wraps, right hand dial straight into that extra screw on. Luz Duardi, this could be all over very, very quickly now, just leans into that top hold. Ah, oh, yes, superb seconds on the clock, and all is done. What a start for Luz Duardi. It's a bit of a heartbreak for Jana Ralph there as well, because Luz Duardi is going to be heading back less than a minute used up, jogs off. Yeah, the perfect sequence there. Didn't have a problem with it at all, as was suggesting. Uh, and I was cautious to say this at the beginning, but this was one of the easier boulders of the four. Um, it's, it's always good to be cautious, I think, <laughs> with the information that you're told, because uh, especially in the youth categories, things are always climbed in uh, ways that you slightly unexpect. I've, uh, I've been reveling in my inability to make predictions this week. Uh, I should, To be honest, I should have had a really good stab at making a prediction here. Because uh, either way, I would have been wrong. Yana <laughs> Rout couldn't do the first move and Luce Duardi strolled up it. So whether I'd said it was hard or easy, I'd have been wrong. Should have said it was medium. And Akudo uh, trying to jump out. She's one of the shorter climbers, but certainly not the shortest uh, in this final. She's just looked looked a little short on that jump oh and tries to match her she wasn't that far off there's, there's not much to catch if you don't use the uh, if you don't use the second volume to stop the swing Studying the jump, you can see there 239 left for her. This is making Luce Duardi's performance look all the more impressive.
goes again. Still nothing. Well, it, uh, if we hadn't seen Luce Duardi basically uh, absolutely smash this boulder out the park, I'd be wondering if it had been overcooked. Did we dream that? She pulls on again. She's got just under a minute left to try and find something here. Time running out here, you fear? suspect this will be the last attempt and that is the last attempt well uh, I can't quite believe what Luce Duardi did uh, her compatriot nine Menion climbing next yeah it's, it's quite strange really to see three climbs come out two look a fair way away from the move Luce Duardi made it look like a part of her warm up routine but the way Luce she just came out and had loads of spring and you think the way that she wrapped that first left-hand volume of the two really gave her an extra bit of momentum into that extra scroll. And let's see how Nai Menyon gets on. Her compatriot, Luz Duardi, did flash this boulder. Ah, oh, superb for Nai Menyon. Absolutely smashes through that first move again. Can she mount up on this top move? This is where we saw Luz Luz Duardi going on to the right side. Now Mignon tries up on the left. Now pushes into that shoulder to finish. There we go. Another flash. Team France are absolutely on form here. Now Mignon, Luz Duardi must be absolutely working on their jumps over the last few weeks because they've come out and pounced through this bottom section. Not, you couldn't even argue it's... The taller or anything like that is, is clearly just a technique issue and power through the legs to get the distance to that pair of pinches and they're hitting the handholds perfectly. Well, I had a croissant for breakfast this morning. It didn't work for me. Anyway, whatever they've eaten, <laughs> try and get a hold of. <laughs> Incroyable, as, uh, <laughs> as they would say in that part of the world. The French climbers literally making this look like a different bowl. It's like someone's added a couple of screw-ons. Yeah, and Natsumi like Hirano later to try her look. It's just the distance. They seem to have just brought the volumes closer. Let's see how Natsumi gets on. Oh, completely different technique. Pinches and that lower volume also flying up this boulder. Look at the speed this boulder has climbed. It's only really one move boulder. There we go. Well, there we go. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> That's that. Moving on. <laughs> There's barely even time to add any insight to that whatsoever, apart from the fact that she's just wallop that boulder and, and uh, the next climb is going to come out. I I'm struggling to think of a boulder where we had a final where literally half the field basically can't do the first move and the other half of the field just walk up it, as you say, Mike, like it's part of their part of their warm-up. I have to say it's a pretty strange boulder. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's basically one move. The top move doesn't really seem to be adding much. You know, It seems to be got to try a little bit up there but it's uh, it's just a jump to a two pinches and th that's the end of that it's uh, yeah interesting the route has got quite a lot of space on the wall here um there are other finals to come so they they have storing some holds and half boulders on the wall uh to the sides you can see one to the left there as uh, in those yellow volumes but um yeah it's it's quite quite strange just tries to jump to that double pinch at the bottom as well i wonder if this is just a pure hand grip strength. That sounds a bit weird, but the fact that they just jump to it and just have to squeeze the box in a really wide pinch. And uh, it seems that when the climbers have got it, the, the left hand, the first one that hits the volume, does seem to do quite a lot to 
Hold you on the wall. There we go. Oh, nicely done, does it? It's a triple. When you see it like that, it's actually quite a cool move. Can she push to the top? You would expect so from here. There we go. Saki Kikuchi well, gets it top, and that's the end of the first boulder. I cannot recall seeing a boulder where there was such a clear gap between climbers. I mean, we've, we see a climber like Yanya Garmbrek come out and perhaps do a boulder others couldn't. But to have people repeatedly try the first move, not get anywhere near it, and then another four climbers, I think it was four flashes, oh sorry, Saki Kikuchi's second go. Um, yeah, four tops for a combined five attempts. Yeah, it's quite extraordinary. It's yeah, it's it's almost like uh, there's a heavy weight and see if you can lift it. Some people can lift it, and some people can't. It's a, a very very odd start to the competition, I have to yeah, say. Really unusual. Okay. Anyway, we're we're pushing on to the next boulder. Yeah, we're not messy around at all here. Yeah, and her house back out. It seems like a matter of minutes since she was before. And, uh, yeah, she's going to be really disappointed of that first bowler. Obviously, she couldn't find the top where rubbers flashed it. Let's see if she can redeem herself a little bit on this second bowler. This is a all volume, slightly off vertical wall. It's probably somewhere between 5 and 10 degrees overhanging. And I think this one could potentially ramp things up a little bit. And you never quite know with these young climbers how they're going to get on with these volume-only based bowlers. Yana Ralph looking pretty solid here, actually. Um Techy, techy bit of wall climbing, really slightly overhanging, as I said. Uh, no additional jibs on any of those volumes at all, so it's all just volumes only. Conditions for this type of boulder actually. Pretty much spot on out there today, considering this is Arco, the end of August, northern Italy. It's been absolutely roasting. Yesterday was mid 30s uh, out there in the arena, has, uh, in the shade most of the time in, in the, on the actual bouldering wall itself, but just at the back of the mat, it was super hot. And you see Rihanna actually pulling a bit of tape off her fingers there, so she's trying to protect the skin as much as she can, especially on that first boulder. Does pull the tape off now, and a, and a boulder like this. You really don't want to be climbing with tape on your fingers. You want to try and avoid that as much as possible because skin and friction against the volumes is so critical. See, she's just stretching up to that first side pull. Just the volume next to her right hand does have chalk on it as well. A little bit hard to interpret some of these betas on some of these climbs at the moment because these boulders were actually set on the very first day um, many moons ago. Uh, the first day of route setting and uh, the the boulders and the, the, the routes and volumes, a lot of the volumes have been reused throughout the rounds. 96 boulders in total were set here for this championships and uh, obviously they've had to reuse a whole number of volumes. And so some of them have got chalk where you may not expect it and that adds a little level of route reading confusion for these athletes. So Jana pulled the tape off for a previous go and now puts the tape back on. She's obviously suffering with her skin pretty bad. That's not what you need going into a UVA Boulder Finals. Bit of a shame that your skin gets affected so badly on these rounds. That's better. She's re-established on this first triangular volume in the mid midsection of this boulder. See, it's all just about laying away off the edges of the volumes. Slightly better. Almost a knee bar, she's just been to that position before leading up to that zone hold up and left. You can see every time that she goes to pull on there, she's just checking her checking her skin, checking the conditions. Really fighting here, Yana Ralph. See, squeezing everything she's got into that volume, trying to knee bar again. She's coming out here and she's looking pretty tired, as we said. Walks away from the second boulder with no top. Yeah, at least Duardi uh, will be out next, the climber whose performance we could. Uh, scarcely believe 
on Boulder 1 and whose performance was then replicated by two other climbers and almost replicated by Saki Kikuchi who got its second go. Let's see if we can get a close up of this, this handshake. I really like it just before she climbs. Like a judo chop. Oh. I have to say, as a climber of a slightly older vintage like myself, I'm always thinking about, should get arthritis in her wrists if she does that all the time? Arthritis. So she does not uh, flash this one as well. First time she's fallen off a boulder in this final. See, that's what the uh, success is resting upon. You can squeeze the life out of that big black volume as well. This looks a little more hopeful from Loose. Heads up to the zone hold, incorrectly labelled the bonus. We've, we've talked about this a couple of times this week. Send your conspiracy theories in about why the signs are saying bonus rather than zone. Almost certain it's because someone just forgot to uh, order the correct signs as Loose do RD. Drops it, just setting up for the top move. Interesting bowl of this, just body position is so crucial. Tricky on this, you, you can study the boulder, but it's, um, <laughs> until you get up there, you can't really feel the body position as much. You can see it requires a bit of oomph just to hang on to that volume. Uh, you've got to try and uh, get yourself set up. Just cannot find a way to stay up there and set for the top move. And with 13 seconds to go, that will be that for uh, Luce Duardi. Yeah, it's interesting. Luce would have been one of the favourites on this boulder, so it's obviously much harder than the first boulder. You can see her handprints on the volumes as she goes up, actually. I saw on the root set, it's really rubbing a lot of chalk and brushing and trying to prep these volumes as best they could uh, for this round. So such as the level of chalk and dust and everything that's built up on those volumes throughout this championship. So you wonder if the conditions just aren't ideal on them. You don't usually see the volumes kind of fingerprints in them that much before. Obviously you do expect a little bit of that, but there seems to be overly large amounts of fingerprints in the volumes as she climbed it there, Luce Tuadi. Let's see what Hannah Kudo could do. Again, on these volume-based based climbs, soft shoes is really good. I mean, maximum rubber through the feet, maximum contact. I 
and ultimately moving fast between the volumes we'd have thought would be the preferred method of climbing because the conditions of the skin on the volumes is so vital on this type of climb. You want to be feeling quite dry tips and palms as you squeeze these volumes. Any moisture build up really starts to hurt you on these moves. This is the definitely the hardest move up to the zone. Loose to Adidi did fire up to that zone. This is looking better from Hanakudo. Two hands, wrist wrapping, that zone hold now just pushing towards the top. Hanakudo lining it up. Oh, just comes short of the top hole, did hit the top. Hanakudo going in for the brushwork herself. See big puffs of chalk coming off that volume as she brushes it herself. Used to already got the zone on her second attempt. And Akudo, one of those climbers who didn't find anything on the first boulder. One of only two climbers not to get a zone or a top on the first block. Gamba Gamba asks the MC for Hannah Kudo. got the perfect sequence through this section here and this move here just pushing up off the le uh, right foot nothing for the left foot seems really hard you can see more grease marks in those volumes from her fingers and there you can see perfect shot just as she slides down that right hand triangle we saw Jan Ralph really struggling with her skin semi-finals for this category was yesterday and it's not much time to recover. It's the standard amount of time for a senior level World Cup. But it's potentially skin a big issue here this weekend, with it being so hot. I'm not sure if many of these athletes would have been enjoying the local swimming areas. Yeah. Certainly don't want to be getting your fingertips wet swimming for hours on end in between bouldering rounds. This time pushes for the wrap on the zone volume of her left hand. Heel hooks established really well, just short of the top hole. This boulder's looking very toppable. Go straight in for another go. Must be short on time now. Shake of the head. It's not going to happen for her. It's disappointed on boulder number two as well as number one there, Hannah Kudo. Now Mignon, you can see, has just taken to the stage. Uh, here's a golden opportunity for somebody here, including Dai Mignon, who got number one done and got it done quickly. Had a quick look. Not convinced about something. Naimignon pulls back on. Luce Duardi and Hannah Kudo both got the zone on this one. But we haven't had a top 
Fourth climber, Naimenyon. Two still to come. Tries a little hand swap down with the left. And a toe hook as well. She's definitely getting creative. It's not quite uh, led to anything yet, but this is it's one of those boulders where uh, a bit of creative thinking is clearly going to be required. Still not uh, making much progress. It's, it's a boulder that makes you think. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what the solution is. So she's squeezing the life out of that black volume and then you've somehow got to get your feet engaged and uh, packs her bag. Don't forget your chalk bag. And uh, calls it a day. So not uh, not made quite as much progress as her compatriot Luz Duardi. Yeah, this volume style boulder really does seem to be love or hate. And sometimes, as I was just talking to one of the root setters, uh, out there just before this round started when it's a volume only boulder you're really taking a risk because it can feel very different for very different body sizes and hands uh, hand size skin conditions weather conditions and so far this boulder although we've seen one climber flap for the top hold uh, from Hannah Kudo let's see if that Sumi Hirana can find everything yeah, there's no additional screw-ons here. There's nothing really for the climbers to really get their teeth into. Really start to crimping down on. Lustuardi and Hannah Kudo did find the zone. Hannah on her first go and Lustuardi on her second go. Natsumi Hirano just trying something slightly different there by palming off of that right-hand triangle. This time looks like she has the correct sequence. It's really hanging off that lower of the two triangles. Establishes the knee bar and looking comfortable. But she's got to move a bit faster now between the zone and the top hold. Gets the guppy on the zone. Now pushing towards the top and just slips. Really vertical heel hook. That's Sumi Hirano there. Had a very similar tent to Hannah Kudo there. That pile of blue volumes you can see on the left is yet to be set boulder. It needs to be rebuilt for the later finals today. We 
Looks like she's going to go in for the liquid chalk. Actually, done some experiments myself as to whether liquid chalk, a thick layer of liquid chalk, helps on volume only climbs, and, and found that just loose chalk with no liquid chalk actually helps if you've got good skin climbing these volume based uh, volume only based boulders but if your skin's bad then liquid chalk definitely does seem to help but if your skin's good I found personally only personal as all things in climbing tend to be personal just uh, too much liquid chalk on a volume only based climb doesn't help get the friction between the skin and the actual volume themselves Feel is so important on this type of climb. Just feeling the texture of the volumes underneath your skin, and sometimes the liquid chalk can build up such a thick layer that you can't quite get the, the correct purchase. Little lean out to the zone volume now. So just tries to jump for the top this time. You can see that's a good idea of what that top volume is like. It's okay, but it's slanting down on the right hand edge there. You can see it from that angle. We have to say it looks like a pretty bad volume. You've got to go up there in control. You would have thought there's a chance of sticking that. easily through this lower section now I wonder if she'll try again to just jump for the top or if she'll use the heel but she's just lining it up trying to pounce for it and does slowly grease down the volumes and that does end Natsumi Hirano's efforts on that boulder and Saki Kikuchi is the final climber out no tops on this boulder so far after so many on the first boulder let's see if we can find a top to separate this field So Saki Kikuchi very politely hands her scorecard to the judges. Now, she's got a massive opportunity here. She got number one done, but it was on her second go, and because three people above it uh, flashed uh, number one, that left her down in fourth place. But if she can find a top here, she'll move into the lead. She'll be the only climber with two tops, and those two attempts, or uh, that extra attempt on number one, won't seem uh, nearly as important So she's already had a, a quick look at it. It's an interesting boulder, this one. Just uh, it just forces you to think. Forces you to to have multiple attempts. As yet, nobody's quite solved the puzzle. Reaching up, oof, there's potential for a slightly nasty fall here, I have to say. You could, uh, wouldn't be out of the question that you could clobber yourself as you fell down, but she uh, avoided that outcome. Two minutes ten left now for her.
120 now. Ticking down the time. Top would put her in such a strong position. Slips just uh, almost exactly the same time as the buzzer sounds to tell her she's got one minute left. It's a shame for Saki Kikuchi because this could really have put her back in the reckoning. But as it is, she might be getting ever so slightly left behind. And after being clearly the best climber in the semi final, that will be a disappointment. Needs to find something. Japanese team suddenly kind of burst into life, cheering her on. And sadly, that is time up just as she slapped out for the zone. So, uh, no tops of number two. Of a disaster that for the root setters really bold number two. You can see the scores. Lustuardi is still up there with her flash of the first boulder plus a zone on the second. Her and Natsumi Hirano are only two to find the zone on that boulder. Yeah, that's not 100% true actually. Just <laughs> rereading the scores a bit closer. <laughs> I do apologise there. Oh, it feels like it, we've been here for a long time all of a sudden <laughs> after that boulder. Uh, I'm sure with boulder number three we'll start to rekindle this final a little bit. Here we go. You're, you're making me laugh, Mike. Uh, <laughs> we, we always, uh, I'd like to think, always keep it, you know, an element of, of uh, fairness and take the edge off our opinions, but after three weeks straight, that was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Feel like I've been here forever after that boulder. <laughs> here we go then, boulder, boulder number three. <laughs> Any pretense at political correctness has just been replaced with brutal honesty. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like that one. Next. That was a disaster. Let's move <laughs> on. Let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, that's enough about you. Let's talk about me. Boulder number three then starts quite high on this set of uh, ledges on on the blue panels on the angle change big uh, round volume out on the left and you just push up into the mantle and fully mantle it out until you're standing back uh, where you starting hands position were right up into the corner and at which point shuffle across a bit of an extreme walking across these volumes a really physical mantle just to start and get up into the groove and I've just got the body position now just got to turn the hands around and go Fully straight armed into the full press. Yana Rout's not quite got going in this uh, final yet. She's the only climber without a top or a zone. But uh, I mean the amazing thing is, because nobody got number two done, she could still win the competition. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, l l low low scoring round when a boulder like that doesn't really have any meaningful uh, result in the competition. It's, it's It remains wide open. You can see Yana's come out with tape basically every single fingertip so she's suffering really badly with her skin here and you have to feel for her it's a real shame going into a world championship final like this to be suffering with bad skin is really disappointing and it's hard not to though isn't it with th a lot of climbers doing three com three events yeah i think the heat as well it's you know we're just talking last night it was about 10 p.m last night i was doing the local fingerboard competition in the middle of town late at night, as you oh, do in Oh, was it you that set that record? Yeah. Me and uh, Ramon, Julien Poblenc were up there <laughs> hanging on forever. It, 
I wish. But anyway. Um, it yeah. could probably hang on longer with you hanging <laughs> off it yeah. than you can hang yourself. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the climbers were out there last night and we're just saying, can you imagine what these young climbers are going through? It's so hot. Uh, every day trying to squeeze the shoes onto swollen feet and uh, yeah it's really amazing what these athletes have put their bodies through and, and done so well one minute to go here for Jan Ralf. not up and into that mantle just yet a few people starting to come out into the field here in our coat yeah it's, it's these early morning starts are a, <laughs> a struggle for some they're not well attended the early mornings it'd be fair to say we get the crowd in the afternoon when everyone's got a belly full of good food. But uh, quiet in the mornings, it's quite nice. It's, it's, um, it's like watching cricket, you know, the day slowly unfolds gradually. At which point, at 7 o'clock in the evening, everyone's absolutely wasted. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> just without the, um, <laughs> without the fancy dress and yeah. shouting and everything. Don't think we'll be going in for five pints and a big snake of beer cups here at the Youth World Championship somehow. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Lucy Duhardy. Uh, next climber out. Actually leading the competition, Lucy Duhardy, by virtue of having flashed boulder one and got the zone on her second attempt on boulder two. Not the easiest starting position to attain, but she uh, attains it nonetheless. And this looks like a good start. This looks like a very good start for Luz Duardi. Got to do this move slowly. There we go. She's just saying to the judges, there you go, I've got the zone. Get that chalked up, please. See the right hand just creeping round. This is good work from Luce Duardi. Still her first attempt. Although she's been on the wall a long time. But remember, if you're in the four minutes, you can take as long as you want. And that could be flash number two of the competition for Luce Duardi. Gives the top volume a whack and says, that'll do. Thank you. Yeah, you can see Yana Ralph is just previous climber out just not quite in the condition that she wants to be for this UFA final see the way Luz Duardi just pushed out that first move there's a replay of Luz Duardi at the top smiles all round she's had a really good 2019 so far I wonder if she can finish it with a UFA world championship medal to her name let's climb her out Hannah Kudo here she comes jogs onto the mat Currently sitting down in fifth place, no tots to her name, but it's the zone on the second boulder. It's all to fight for here still though. This is boulder number three or four here, of course, in the final four boulders, four minutes on each. All climbers attempt each boulder as a group before moving on to the next boulder. There's the push and mantle, left drop knee just helps open up the body a little bit to push down and fully mantled on that right hand. Now let's see how she gets on on the pressing out of the groove and into this thumb catch. Really minimalist hold. Offers just enough. She's really flat footing that first volume there with her right foot. And she's potentially got a foot covering where she wants her left foot. Yoshiyuki Yogata there of the Japanese team and the senior level team. And he's been here supporting the Juniors all week. Just trying to find the body position to get out of the corner here at the moment. She's really well stretched. Now just shuffles the right heel up a little bit to make room for the left foot. Ah, oh, just loses balance so easy just to balance off these boulders. The slightest loss of concentrations. Upper body just comes out a little bit, at which point virtually no handhold to hold on to. It's really easy just to wobble off. 
straight back into it though. This is a very slow bowler to climb, so he's got to go straight in for another go. Really powerful man to actually pushing out into that groove. Lusuadi made it look relatively straightforward, but you can see there from Hadakudo just how difficult it is to power out into that groove. Just using the texture on the wall, fully textured boulder wall here. She's really concentrating on the handhold there, and you wonder maybe she's just concentrating on the feet more than the hands. She's trying to get absolutely everything out of that undercut as possible. Now gets the right foot across, and it's all about waiting the feet as boulder, just staying relaxed, just breathing, certainly not forgetting to breathe. Slowly waiting the foot as the head coach of the Japanese team. Akira just relaxes for a moment before shuffling the feet one more time to try and end up around the corner. Top hold is pretty good on that angle. This is gr slow and steady. Akira looking for the first top of the competition for her. Around the corner she goes. Nicely done. Really well, she kept her head in it there after that wobble on the first attempt. Slow and steady wins the race on boulder number two. This boulder being topped twice now. Three climbers still to come. Nine Mignon from France is going to be next. Two French athletes, three Japanese and an Austrian in this final. Nai Menyon, as with her uh, compatriot, has made a pretty, <laughs> pretty good start here, to say the least. Safely up to the zone, should be awarded that, I'm sure. Right hand safely round. Could be in here. It's not too bad a top out. It's got to go slowly. And there it is. Three tops on the boulder. Another easy top. Oh, it's a quite a strange round, really. It's a, yeah, it's it's a, it's relatively early here. It's 10:51 in the morning uh, here in Arco, and uh, some people really struggling. Others just breezing through the boulders, and there's not been uh, any huge battles on the boulders yet. I wouldn't say. Not when you have to really had a big fight, getting really pumped and really working the the powerful muscles. It's been a, a jump to begin with, and then the boulder, the, the uh, less said about the better, I think. And then this third boulder is just sort of shuffling on your feet. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different skill set being tested at the moment. Yeah, the finals flying by. Um, I'm no use to anyone before about one o'clock in the afternoon, so I'm impressed anyone can climb at this time of day. Natsumi Hirano easily through that first mantle. Just placement of the right foot right on the corner there is a, is a good placement, but just needs to shuffle it a little bit there. She does just move it along. She's looking really confident on her feet there. We saw Hannah Kudo really focusing on the handhold. Uh, and Natsumi and Naimanyan just before her, just really just quickly using it. And uh, I'd say Natsumi Hirano is probably the shortest climber in this finals and was relatively stretched, but easily through that section, which proves how good those footholds actually are. You can just keep it together and trust the feet. 
Trust the smear. Such talent on display here in female Yufe bouldering. Looks like Natsumi Hirano might be finding a top here. If you just keep it together to get round the corner. Uh, confidently stands on that lower right foot. And there we go. Job done. Another top. It's Luz Duardi first at the moment. Naimen Yon second. And Natsumi Hirano, who with that top, has moved into third position. But it's wide open this one still. Saki, Kuk Saki Kikuchi is going to be the final climber on this bowl number three. And somehow we're on bowl number four already. But this one doesn't really feel like it's got started yet. No, I know. It's um, it's a wonderfully satisfying name to say, Saki Kikuchi. Saki Kikuchi uh, will not know this, but uh, well, she must have a fairly good idea, but a flash could be all but essential here if she'd like to claim a medal. So gets uh, gets stood up and will begin the creep out to the right. I could Barely call it a traverse. It's uh, it's too slow for that. It's a, it's a creep. Creep out to the right. Interestingly enough, this has only been topped by one climber who didn't flash it. And Saki Kikuchi tries to go fast, and we've seen that that is not the way to do it. So she's going to need at least another attempt uh, if she is to get it done. And that could, uh, sadly for her, be crucial. It's going to be tight this final, that is for sure. She's got herself stood up again. I think the lesson learned from the first attempt is don't rush. There you go. You can see she can't, you can't quite see that yellow hold. So this time uh, she gets it done. So Saki Kikuchi, nice work from her. But sadly, that attempt could uh, could really be a factor. Yeah, I was just about to say exactly the same thing. I think if this does come down to attempts to top, then um, a silly mistake like rushing that move across the slab may come back to her. So let's let's have a look at the results. And at least to RD, still up with over the two tops and two zones. Importantly, attempts are becoming critical here. Now, assume we. Hirano also have those two tops, two zones, as does Nai Men Yong, Saki Kaguchi. Uh, oh, fourth position with two tops, four zones, but attempts, like I said, the attempts becoming crucial here. So it's Luz Duardi and Natsumi Hirano, the only ones with two tops and three zones. Nai Men Yong is the in third position with two tops and two zones. Yeah, no, Ralph currently zeroes on the score, but we've been clearly been suffering with a skin really badly on this round. Comes out with a whole roll of tape. So Yana Rout, fourth boulder. Uh, yeah, Mike, bol boulder four, please. Uh, yeah, boulder four is on this steeper section of wall with a double angle change. And um, yeah, super powerful. We've seen this section of wall used a lot for like really powerful boulders here in Arco. 
pulls on is kind of a bit of a sea of volumes. There's two bigger yellow, uh, he <coughs> excuse me, hexagonal shaped volumes. Um, far right blue triangles just there to block the top of the lower volume. It could potentially be used as a hill. Then it's a powerful move between two fiberglass volumes at which the top should ease off quite a bit once you get over the angle change. Yeah. So let's just, just tone this one down a little bit. I have to say, unfortunately for Jan and Ralph, if you've got bad skin, this is about as bad as it gets because it's super powerful, uh, sloping volumes, temperatures kicking up a little bit here as well. And it's just, you know, if she didn't have any skin before, she certainly won't have any at the end of this. Uh, final bowler, though, of her World Championship semi final. She might as well just go and give this everything she's got. She may have given everything she's got in the semi-final there, unfortunately. As you can see there, tape on every single fingertip. Putting in a spirited battle here, though. There you can see the full boulder. The zone hold is a big sloping dish just over the angle change. There's that toe hook on the right foot. It's just a really powerful, quick move over. Smashing in with the left hand. It's actually quite close to your chest, that. Uh, roll over, so it's sort of like if a sloping volume, but control it with quite a lot of uh, control. Control it in a way that you can hold it that's right in front of your chest, because normally with a big slope, if you're rolling over like that, it's nice if it's kind of at full arm's length, you can just hang underneath it. But you've actually got to put a lot of control, a lot of force, just to hold on to it. So here she goes towards the end of her last uh, boulder of the competition. And as you said, Mike, when you've got bad skin, a slap like that is not what you want to see. Yeah, I think that's going to be wearing through skin, not only wearing through fingertips. Pretty sure that's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go get another coffee. <laughs> wearing through tape as <laughs> is what I meant to say. <laughs> to apologise to everybody out there. We'll get it together in a minute. Yeah, a bowl of that, when you've got so much tape on, you actually can burn through the tape. It's so aggressive. Texture on these volumes is, I would say, medium to coarse. And you can see her just looking through one bit of tape off. Have to, she's going to risk it. Well, she can't afford to bleed on, on the boulder itself. Um, judges will just be keeping a relatively tight eye as she comes off to make sure she's not got blood coming out of the tips. In the modern bouldering game of the last few years, so many times we've seen blood coming out when the climbers reach the finals, going through brutal rounds of big fiberglass modern moves. Again, really moving fast as she hits that fiberglass volume. Nice little rollover move that with the right toe just wedged between the two volumes, the yellow and the blue one down right. She decides, Yana Rout, not to uh, have another go. That will be that. Never quite got going in this uh, competition. I think skin problems are a pretty major factor in that. Luce Duadi scurries out onto the stage. Let's go. And I'll be right back. Currently leading the competition. Now, if Luce Duadi can flash this, uh, she will be uncatchable. And she will be the youth world champion. It's a big if. From what we've seen. Oh, safely up to the zone. This is it for Luz Duardi. She could win the competition right here. Oh, she has absolutely smashed her way through these boulders. Everything she's topped, she's flashed. And no wonder she's emotional. She's won the competition on the last boulder. She had to flash it to take it out of anyone's hands. And she has done it. That will be three flashes. 
uh, and four zones. And uh, even if someone catches her, even if someone matches the flash, uh, they will miss out on attempts to zone. What a superb season Luce Tuardi has had. It's absolutely brutalised that boulder, just absolutely walloped up it. Superb performance and yeah, 2019 has been absolutely spectacular for her. She really arrived on the senior stage as well. And um, yeah, yeah, I mean, can't get any better than that. Way to finish with, she's only in the youth A as well. It's absolutely brilliant. She's looked superb all the way through the qualification semi-final and here in the final. And do you feel for the other guys because they've still got to go out there and fight, but there is two other medals still available here. Hannah Kudo is going to be up next. Yeah, you can see. We're just waiting for Lucy's score to uh, come through. There it is. Three flashes, uh, three tops requiring three attempts and five attempts to get the zone, but uh, nobody is going to uh, be able to match that. In fact, only Natsumi Hirano will uh, be able to match the three tops four zones, but it would still be requiring too many attempts. So Luce Duardi grabbed this competition by the scruff of the neck. She will be the uh, youth world champion in female youth A boulder. And I don't think anybody could, uh, could dispute she's been the best climber today. So she's safely up to the zone. Get the heel hook in place, leave her up. Just needs to get the right foot up. Oh, close, but no cigar. She's on the penultimate hold. Pretty obviously, she will have another go. Pulls back on now. Oh, and looked a bit short. You can see the right foot gave just as he went out towards that zone. And Kudo's had a, a couple of stabs at this boulder. Yeah, it's one of those boulders with that really powerful first move that you've got to have something left in the tank. But this round so far, you would have thought just the speed that it's gone through, you wouldn't have used too much energy. See a nice little drawing on the left hand there. I think that's a smiley face. We've seen all sorts of different tactics this week, actually, in the speed climb here. Uh, Emma Hunt, the winner of the speed climbing, really talking to herself at the start of each each round. Uh, going through her sort of mantra, talking out loud. It's yeah, you know, different tactics. Going up with the right hand to that fiberglass volume and smashing to the zone. Hold oh, on, massive helicopter with the feet. She's given this one absolutely everything now. It's worth fighting here for Hannah Hudo. Can push herself up the leaderboard. This time goes over the left hand, now matches. See her fingertips just grinding down that volume as she moves the feet around, sliding off of the fiberglass ball. Yeah, I think the problem is those the feet slipping at the crucial moment. Yeah, really not having much rest between the goes here. So he's just absolutely fighting for it. Now goes right hand again, brings the left hand in the first final few seconds here for Hannah Kudo's Youth World Championships is now over. Upset as she hits the floor. Mike, I don't know where to start on Luce Duardi today. She's absolutely knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I wonder what her total time on the wall was. It was uh, probably a minute and a half, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if she spent more time uh, getting 
the zone on uh, number two on her second attempt than she's done to required to top all the other boulders. Absolutely no question who's been the, the climber of the day in this one. It's a little bit sad there to see Hannah Kudo go off uh, upset. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough it's a tough battle when you come out here with such expectations and it doesn't go your way. I mean, these athletes have to keep their heads up though because every individual round is, you know, it's a whole new set of boulders and it's a different challenge. Sometimes the boulders just don't suit you. That first boulder just didn't work for Hannah Kudo. Second one didn't work for anyone and did really well on the third. But when she came out to the fourth, she kind of looked already a bit broken, unfortunately. And yeah, it's a, it's a real shame for her. It didn't, didn't come together, but she's got another year. Another opportunity, opportunity to train, to learn what went wrong at this championships. Yeah, who knows where we'll be for the um, the uh, youth world championships next year? Some Just trying to think. This is this is my fourth one I've attended. We were in uh, Guangzhou in China by Hong Kong. We had uh, Innsbruck. That was nice. Walk to work. Uh, not often I get to do that. Yeah, it'd be a long walk from to here, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> be a nice walk through the Dolomites. You just need to save about three weeks. Ah, it just slips off. And then um, last year we were in Moscow, and here we are in Arco. So where on earth will we be next year for the Youth World Championships? I'm hoping somewhere that's got swimming, nice weather, something can match the Arco atmosphere. Well, I'm happy to come back to Arco. I'm just putting it out there if anyone's... Uh, Keen to get involved with a bit of the organising, help Angelo out a bit. No, Man Young here it wants to find a top, ideally, to try and push herself up into that second place. Natsumi Hirano still to come after her. He's currently ahead of her. Now Menyon just struggling to get established and actually booted uh, some of her kit. I think it was a short bag off the stage by accident. Something's took the ride down the front. Just give the judges the opportunity. Wasn't a kick of rage though. We haven't seen much of that at this World Championships. Very well behaved athlete so far. Yeah, we haven't had the. Uh, what did they used to call John McEnroe? Super brat. <laughs> <laughs> you could not be serious. Yeah, we haven't had any of that. I'd love to see someone sh come off a, a boulder that's really not worked and sh shout out the root setting team. You <laughs> could not <laughs> be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should have done it after <laughs> boulder two. <laughs> I'll just we give you a radio mic and send you down the front. I <laughs> know, <laughs> oh, you've got to feel for the roots. It's had this oh, it's most brutal week. What did you say they've set? 96 yeah. boulders. 96 boulders have been here for weeks on end. How they're still standing, I have no idea. No, I mean, you're just trying to flick for that zone volume. We're Super. waking up with dreams of power drills in the head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Flashes of light of just, oh, where, where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm at home, there's no roots heck to do, thank, <laughs> thank the Lord. The thing is, many of these route setters, they have day-to-day -day jobs as, as uh, you know, gym route setting teams, and then they have to go to these big championships. Big championships are almost a holiday for them. It's a nice hashtag, actually, the, in, in America, used a lot. Oh, Naimenyon sticks the zone. This could be huge now. This could be massive for Naimenyon if she could find a way here. This would be three tops for her if she can do it. She's running she out of time. She is going to be not saved by the bell. That is too late for Naimenyon. Oh, that would have uh, not far off. That would have guaranteed her a medal. Oh, heartbreaker. Goes off in tears as well. This round is just so emotional. Oh, it's, it's been up, down. We, we sort of feels like we had a break while we were doing number two. Uh, we are just re relaxing a bit. And suddenly... the emotion tap has been turned back on and she will get the zone but it now means she could be uh, caught and passed by Saki Kikuchi oh that's so frustrating when you get it done 
and it's not enough. I imagine for these athletes as well, third seems like you know it's it's a medal. It's it's awesome, of course, to get a medal at the World Championships, but silver would have been that much better. Let's see me. Let's see what she can make of this powerful volume. She looked really solid through that move. Natsumi has already secured her silver position. She's she's really doing really well on this bottle so far, pushing it out, pushes the right hand down into mantle and tops the bottle. She's absolutely flown through that one. That didn't take long. What a interesting tour of boulders. Smashes through that one. That's that one done. Natsumi Hirano will go away with a silver medal. Again, almost looks a bit disappointed. These athletes have only got one medal in their minds, and that is the gold. And that has already been taken, unfortunately, by Luis Duardi of France with three flashes. And importantly, the zone on the second attempt on bowl number two. Just to put it out there, Nine Menon is currently sitting in third. Saki Kikuchi, uh, if she can find a top, only a top will do it, will uh, move Nine Menon from bronze down to fourth. That's the isolation zone on one side of this bouldering wall at the rear. That's where athletes gather, go from one side to the other between the boulders. Ready for their attempt. Saki Kikuchi then. Last climber out in this Youth A final. Yeah, last climber, last bouldering. It's only quarter past 11. Where, where, where's, uh, where's this final gone? Saki sitting in fourth then. And she progressed past that. Look how bad that left hand is. Saki Kikuchi now, what can she get out of that left hand? She's really pumping that left hand. Now she gets the match, this could be better. Jumping off the toe, it hits the zone in control. We've seen most athletes bring it home from this point. Just got to mount up into that next upside down sort of shoulder volume. Pushes into it, mantle the right hand. Saki Kikuchi's flying here. Saki Kikuchi will take a place on the podium. Uh, not the most convincing match I've ever seen, but... Um she will take a place on the podium, assuming the judges are in a good mood. Yeah, three tops for all of the top three climbers, two tops, or one top and zero tops is places four, five and six. And somehow, Charlie, that's the end of the uh, female UFA yeah, boulder I final. That one's the quickest I of on record, surely. I, I can't really remember a boulder final like that. We, um, the climbers basically couldn't do number two. Everything else just seems to be come and go in seconds. Um, yeah, really, really strange final, really. I, 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 um, I don't really know what to make of that one. It's interesting. Uh, but that, that is the result. Hey, we got a result. And the result is that Luce Duardi is the youth world champion. And uh, Natsumi Hirano takes the silver. And Saki Kikuchi with that top of the final boulder knocks Nai Menyo off the podium. Hanakudo fifth. And Yana Rout, who was really struggling with her skin from the outset, ends up in sixth place. Uh, so, youth A boulder concluded. But uh, as we've said a couple of times, as someone rolls a flight case past us, morning, uh, a lot more action to come. Speed final starting at 12.30. Youth B women, youth B men and junior men. And then at uh, 4 p.m., junior women final followed by youth A men boulder final as well. So as I say, some action already. That lady there, uh, Luce Duardi, crown youth world champion. A lot more to come. We'll speak to you in uh, an hour and a quarter's time for three speed finals.